Welcome back to SB Nation. The AFC North produced three playoff teams last year. Who's the class of the, the division this year, Brad? I think it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. They've been the class of this division for a long time, fighting with the Baltimore Ravens, and I think they're going to get back there and win this division. I think the reason why is Ben Roethlisberger and their defense. Dick LeBeau still does a great job. Mike Tomlin's an underrated coach, too. So I, that's just what I think. <laughs> the best underrated yeah, coach but, ever. It, but no one really talks about him. It's like one of the top coaches, at least from what I understand. So And their wide receivers have a lot of speed. They have some issues with their offensive line, but I think they'll overcome them and win the division. You know, I think that they're going to go to the playoffs, but I think with that, uh, the, the offensive line being kind of a mess and, and the running back situation. David DeCastro being hurt. Being up in the air. I think they're going to throw their way into the playoffs, but I think the, the, the winner of the division is going to be the Bengals. What? Wow. Yeah, okay, no, this, why? Is, this, is, this is the Bengals' year. You, you know, uh, you've got that, that great young core of Andy Dalton to A.J. Green. Mm -hmm. This is a team that really their only weaknesses last year were in the secondary, and they shored that up with Dre Kirkpatrick with their first pick. True. And, uh, and A.J. Green getting double and triple teamed, and they did that with their second pick with Mohamed Sanu. I think this is a team that's good and getting better, and I think they're going to make the leap over the Steelers this really year. Really good at stopping the run. My, speaking of underrated coaches, Mike Zimmer, the defensive coordinator, why isn't he a head coach somewhere? Maybe a team like Jacksonville. <laughs> hmm. Number three, Baltimore Ravens. And I think you and I agree on this. And the reason why the Ravens are not going to be the class of this division this year is because their defense is just older and just not as good and the loss of Terrell Suggs. Terrell Suggs is, as, you know, as much credit as Ray Lewis gets for being the, the heart and soul of that defense, I, I think everybody everybody who actually watches the game knows that Terrell Suggs is the playmaker. He's the pass rusher. Yeah, they, they've still got Haloti and Gata uh, as, uh, as the anchor of that 3-4 defense, but with Suggs out, I, I don't think that that defense is going to make the plays to make up for Joe Flacco being the quarterback. No, well, and I like their offense this offseason and, and in the preseason, their hurry-up offenses look good. And Courtney Upshaw was a good draft. Pick, but yeah. you just lose a guy like Suggs, it's really hard to overcome that. Last team, I think, is the Cleveland Browns, and the reason why the Browns are number four is because of the Browns. They're the Browns. They're the Browns. <laughs> but also because they're, they're having an ownership transition going on right now. Their number three overall draft pick, Trent Richardson, is hurt coming off of knee surgery, and I was not a big fan of them drafting Brandon Whedon. No, I, I don't think uh, anybody who's a Cleveland fan is a big fan of that. <laughs> I, I think that uh, of the five rookie quarterbacks who are going to start in week one, Whedon's probably the least NFL ready. Probably. I mean, he should be NFL ready because he's, what, 28 years old? He's, but he's not. He's 76 years old. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be a bad year for Cleveland fans. Every year is a bad Sorry. year for Cleveland fans. Sorry. But uh, what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to SB Nation for more on the NFL. We'll see you soon.